right, I'm going to see if this is going to work. This will be my first time recording a video to do, um, well, anytime. So, see how it goes together. So the first thing we need to do is to get a mod from FS17 into 19 is we need to start out with the shaders. Got to get them updated. And Giants does have some of the support for it. And I've been taking this particular shader, or not cutting it, just copying it out. Throwing it in here, renaming it. So when you open up a new mod or a mod from FF17, you want it to go into 19 and you bring it in GE8, well, there's nothing there. So that's what we're aiming to fix right now. So we're going to take this shader and we're just going to put it anywhere. There's an XML. Let's blow this up so I can see it better. Oh my lord, that is a lot of shaders in this mod. We'll start there though. And there's another one. For the vehicle dirt shader, I have just been this guy over here I'm changing it from version 3 to version 4 so the game doesn't crack about it. Alright, see what that did for us. Brought in a few more things, but not much. I'm guessing that there's going to be a lot of little things here. Like for example, we have the shader source, remove it, and those items show up. Depending on the mod and the material type, it's whether or not things like that are going to show up or if it's just going to pull them all the way out. Now the windows are different. I think you're not going to want to. Looks like I got most of everything there. Fifth wheel. Take away the gloss map. Gloss map lets you change how, you know, this is more plastic, that's more metal looking. Uh, what I can tell, this is like more shiny or not. How we reflected the surfaces.
There we go. Now it's looking more like a truck. You can remove this map. And so if you have this map on here, um, you're not going to be able to do a color config change. You have to remove it and then set it, leave it as a default or whatever, and then your color config change should be able to change that. Let's see what all we're missing still. Um, looks like back support stuff, possibly. And these actually might just be disabled. We'll start with that. And then moving over to the mod desk. This is where it gets crazy. So I'm going to try to load it up with all the scripts, but what I, what I can tell that it, it, it doesn't. It You have to pretty much I, most people have been using the John Deere Gator to just very clean, straightforward, load this XML only. And I am going to remove all these for now. Just because it will make my life easier. And jumping over here, the lights, since we have them backed up, we're going to get rid of all of them as well so it doesn't throw any errors. The goal is just to get it first in game and then we can tackle other items. Uh, with this the passenger script that can go away because it's not going to work. And I've been using this just the pickup base pickup truck from the game as kind of my my standard for moving stuff over. Typically what I do once I get this in here uh, this will be truck for sure. Uh, tractor front loader so most likely I'll be changing the vehicle type from this to most likely drag your front loader because it's not going to like that. I doubt the add config script will work. And next, I want to be you know, finding the same like items here, file size, or the size of the vehicle, and just moving them over the top of it. And this guy as well. Cut that guy out. Open here. That work out. There we go. Look at that guy since we moved it. And find our components. So, I'm going to type one. So we have to set the mass, and it's no longer component one and two. We define those here. And since I don't know what the masses of the second one. I'll drop it down to like 300 or something just to tell you figure out what it is once we get in game. And we'll bring in our joint component. And here's the biggest key. A lot of people are having problems loading in and getting things attached if they don't move these over now. For whatever reason, Giants is like, nope, one is one and two is two and zero which honestly lines up with, let me bring this guy back up here. The 
typically the components reference this index back. This is component one, this is component two. So it looks like Ooh, I don't know what that is up there. Maybe collision? Not sure. And we also need to get rid of these cameras and lights. Okay, we'll gripe about those being in there. And you have to make sure you have enough components to cover those. It's just easy to remove them because that's what Giants does by default now. And this is the, the biggest hurdle. It's the indexing. <clears throat> Giants has moved everything to nodes. And then the nodes translates to these I3D mapping. So we'll take just a couple here. We'll be renaming them. Going them down here. Closing it. See here, we got it closed up properly. We'll just call this one main component one. Let's go up here and see what 028 actually is. Okie dokie. No idea. So we'll just call this reference point one. From what I can tell, the names that you use in here don't necessarily have to line up with what is in the game. Um, I haven't noticed a correlation now I've seen it in a lot of mods from FS17 that are named really similar to actually what we're putting in here. And with the new the new vehicles and stuff in Giants 8, or FS19, they 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 make them line up really well, if not perfect every time. And it's I think it just makes it easier for interacting with it. Um, so and on honestly probably a good practice just to keep your mod clean if you're sharing it, you know, and other people want to be able to look at it. We can come in here and say, you know, this particular one is now reference point one. And now we're defining, say, hey, this this label equals this node, which is really what used to be the index. And I believe that should cover everything to make that workable there. So schema file overlay, schema selected, default vehicle, default vehicle selected. Um, yep, we're going to cut these out and see how that goes. And in theory, I should be able to come Over here, just kind of move things over. And this is a pretty blank slate here. So let's see how the game acts and how it's going to, if it's going to load, what kind of errors it's going to throw. So if it throws a bunch of errors, it's probably going to be hung up somewhere in the mod disk. It means we'll be cleaning out all of our functions, all of our fun names and texts, and it's going to just be a basic truck that is, you know, functional for pulling, um, you know, just like a regular semi or a tractor.
Oh, got one of the most important pieces. Mod description version needs to be 40. Zip this guy up. Yep, just saw one of the first errors, invalid. Vehicle type. It does not look like the script is working. Yep, I do not see it load up in here. All right, so that means we're going to clean this all up and out. Uh, so what's weird is like for the man semi it's using tractor as a function and or tractor is a type function is a truck so this not really do anything for us type description is a truck uh, category is truck so we'll go ahead and change the category to trucks So by virtue of that, just having this here, we can no longer use our 10 end stuff or one 10 end stuff because it's not going to fit the script. The new category is not going to be there. So we're, when we classify the vehicle types, this is no longer relevant because it's not valid. Now, I'm sure at some point this will all get worked out, but from what I can tell, it's not going to by me. <laughs> get our trucks. Okay. Now we just want to see if we can get it to load into the game. Regardless if it comes in on wheels, as long as it comes in. And then we'll start piecing it all back together. And yeah, let's just do a new save game. Yep, yeah, looks good. Just select all this guy.
there it is. Will it load there? Mm, maybe not. cameras to find, no nothing, but it shows up in game. And it's such a bad looking. And we are going to keep it simple. So they've moved the steering component inside of a new hierarchy. It looks like we are loading wheels here. This one already has the wheels in it, so we will be moving stuff around. Axle front left right all that fun stuff and front right wheels and we're going to take all that information from down here and just repopulate it with ours. be a lot of back and forth. Up there because we're going to have to make a new one. Because it looks like we have drive nodes up here.
we would do. So we have actual references for our axis front, left, right, and back. Okay, axle back to left. Okay, that one's there. Axle back right. Front left, did that the right spot? I did. Go front right. Back right. Okay, lose a name stolen. will be going in here. But I do not know if they are the same as in S19, so we'll see. Let's look at the radius. Looks like the radius is defined in the XML. And we'll leave that how it is. And it's a good eye. I don't know if I can pronounce that. Actually, it's 50. No idea what that means, but we'll go ahead and make it the same. And we'll get rid of that. to motor configurations.
Ooh, actually, no, let's do the fill units. Put that in here. Good, we're going to motorized. <clears throat> so, the new fill units you're no longer just saying it's fuel here, we're saying it's diesel is the type. You can also add in another line for depth as well. Um, these won't work right away, I haven't had time to really mess with that. All right, and here we're defining. The consumption rate and all that fun stuff. Differential. Uh, 1.3, 1.8. Okay. So before it was 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now it's actually 1, 2, and 3, and 4. And if you had, you know, Another axle with two more tires, it would be five and six. So that's one of the other differences they changed, which makes sense. Or in the programming world, zero is actually correct, but and you know people don't think of it as like that. So it just kind of helped us out, in my opinion. <clears throat> so. I cannot use, well, I said I might be able to use this name, but it might just throw an error here. Uh, 1.177 horsepower, 200, let's do the 283, but I doubt that calculates out to the right, right amount. So 283, 86 horsepower times 0, 44 is 125, yeah, so this is way off. Just like this, that is not correct either. Enlist Giants has made a change and hasn't told anyone, but from what I understood, you take the horsepower you want, times it by 1.00 or 0 0.0044, and it gets your horsepower. But we'll put what's in the actual mod. And so now we have. You know, RPM levels for the torque versus this, which is for me is very unreadable. This is a lot more readable down here. Now we have transmissions versus, you know, all, uh, you know, the gear ratios, that kind of stuff that would be up here gets moved down. And your torque scale and all that stuff is still kind of in the same spots. Look at that, because I can't, well, actually, I can do multiple motor configurations, I think, um, but for this demonstration, we're going to just keep it simple. So let's see here, we do need drivable, uh, interval, we'll need both of those. And it's going to grab put out the cameras to find. Uh, just for getting this in the game and functional, I'm not worried about a player, you know, being shown there. So we can find our cameras. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see if we have our we need outdoor camera. Outdoor camera target, indoor camera one. These are the no names I was just naming off. And we'll do the rate casting as well. Go right down here. Yeah, I will probably have to cut those out 
and then go back later. All right, so camera one, which would be our in our outdoor camera one. I'll take this guy, bring it down here. Our rot node, outdoor camera target. We're just lining stuff up. Shamelessly stealing their stuff because, well, they didn't provide their proper amount of support at the release of their game, so it's our fault. Indoor camera one. that. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I've seen this in here. That one, that one, that one. Okay, so those aren't defined. So those are going to go. Or it's going to break. And that can go. Got mirrors. So we've got four mirrors here. We'll just make another one. five mirrors. It's crazy. I'm sorry if this is uh, quite boring and not very entertaining. This is uh, new territory for me. I'm mainly concerned on if it's beneficial. Let me get this other mirror decal created. And the license plate where I just saw that, that will have to go. That's not going to work. Oh, there we go. And gone. So we need this one, just main component one. That's what zero greater than equals. Do we have an exit point to find? Oh, we copy over an exit point. Exit point index six. What does that mean? Oh, that's 
probably never worked as thought it, as a user thought it would. Whoever created the mod might have. And that guy. Goodbye. Uh, index 10. Oh, another one of those weird ones. See, that's weird. There's a Raycast note, but they weren't ever referenced. Vision trigger. Right? Yep. Nailed it, escapes out. Yep, that was stolen from the slip gator, if you guys know him. Change that to node. See if there's anything. Oh, it will crack about that. So, for moving tools and moving parts, it falls under this guy here. Got a little shift alt. So has a lot of stuff it's going to crack about. But will it open game yet? Let's find out. Oh, I'm going to save it this time and not make that mistake again. Sorry if it's going like kind of noisy and then quiet. I keep hitting the mute button. So you guys don't have to hear the background noise. All right, let's save this first thing. Hey! Oh! Hey, that kind of worked. Okay, some things are going. Oh my gosh! We're a hover vehicle. Now we just got to get the tires fixed and the load in. to see air logs. Let's just muscle through this. Okay, so we are looking at this XML. 
Sunder Rad Config. Oh Lord, so many. Uh, that should be fine. Okay. And it's saying, load that guy. Anytime. Load it. Oh. It's an invisible man. All the way down here. Tires. We got tires. Let's do this all and see how it goes. Goodbye, shader and the normal map. That's fine. See how she does. my fingers oh, sad times Looks like we are going to modify this script. And what do you know? I have one. Because I just created it for John Deere to put ATV tires on it. And tires.xml. Radius I'm gonna keep it off road. That says mud. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, and well, I like to keep things simple. And that's what it's fifty. Let's see what else is there. We got the left to right to find in the tire for the nodes. So that lines up here instead of index, it's node. Well, max description is the same. Eight, two, friction. Yeah, why not? Goodbye.
Get that guy. Hey. I got you where I want you now. Uh, okay. Yep. Nailed it. Uh, maybe. All right, well, if this loads up properly, this will probably be the end of this video of me shamelessly stealing and forcing what we have to work with to work. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They roll. Oh no. See the lights are on? I didn't go into the I3D and make them invisible. So they're on until I put either light configs in or I just hit the checkbox that says you're invisible. So yeah. There we go. End game. Alright, thanks for watching.